Assalamu alaikum everybody. Today we will be starting a, a slide question. The topic of that question is uh, Madam Grass. And uh, it's from the paper May, June 2008, paper 3-1. This is a special question uh, as far as all the questions that we have done up till now. Because uh, in this question, you will be doing the IP scraticule and as well as a stage micrometer. Uh, you must have seen that we had uh, deliberately left this portion when we were doing the chapter cells and microscopy. Uh, so that when, you, when we you know, reach this portion of the slide, we will do this theory and practical portion together. So let's start. As you can see, the question says, J1 is a slide of a stain transfer section through the leaf of a xerophyte. A xerophyte is a plant that grows in a desert. You are also provided with an eyepiece graticule that has been fitted to the eyepiece of your microscope and stage micrometer scale. I'll show you these two things afterwards. First, let's get done with the plan diagram. Draw a large low power plan diagram of a part of J1 as shown in figure 2.1. Labels are not required. Now, in this case, the part that you're supposed to draw the, has been highlighted already. The section that will appear to you, the cross section of the zero fight, uh, which is known as Maram Grass also, will appear something like that. So from this circular section, you are only supposed to select this part, this one that has been highlighted for you, and draw an enlarged low power plan diagram. And the question very clearly says that the labels are not required. Uh, I will not spend my recording time in you know, drawing this diagram because then in that case, the recording becomes too long. Just to give you an idea how your, um, this large low power plan diagram will look like, the figure is in front of you. You all know the precautions of drawing. Your lines should not be broken. Uh, there, should, there should be no shading. Uh, the uh, different layers uh, should only be shown. The individual cells should not be drawn. And then, of course, when you're drawing the layers, they should be in proportion. They should not be out of proportion. So more or less, your diagram should look like that. And when you are done with this portion, then you will be moving on to that part which requires you to use the IP graticule and the stage micrometer. So I will not spend much time in showing you this. This is an enlarged uh, view of uh, the same slide which you have been given today. It's a slide of a xerophyte, a plant that grows in a desert. You can also see some of the very typical features of a xerophyte in which it has a very thick cuticle to prevent excessive uh, loss of water by evaporation. You can see these trichomes, which are hairs, whose uh, primary role is to uh, trap a layer of moist air so as to reduce the diffusion gradient for the transpiration or excessive water loss by evaporation is concerned. And then there are sunken stromata over here as well. So lots of features which are suited to a plant that grows in a region where the water is scarce. Moving on to the eyepiece graticule part and the stage micrometer. So before I move on, I'd like to show you how your eyepiece graticule will look like. On each table, each one of you has been provided with a lens, an eyepiece lens, the name of which is the eyepiece graticule. Why do we call it a graticule? Because this lens is special in that, if you look at it very carefully, it is calibrated, okay? It is calibrated. Usually eyepiece graticules are uh, calibrated in this manner. The calibrations are actually 100. 100 or 10, whatever, right? It's the same thing. And uh, this is how the eyepiece graticule is calibrated, right? The, now, you have been given two slides. One slide is the one in which the section of the marum brass is present, right? And then another slide has been given to you, which is known as the stage micrometer. So let me zoom onto this so as to show you how a stage micrometer looks like. Now, a stage micrometer is also a slide, but if, if you look at it very closely, there is a very tiny scale that has been drawn on the stage micrometers. Different laboratories have different stage micrometers. 
meaning that in uh, su such different kinds of uh, stage micrometers, the smallest division might be as small as 0 0.01 millimeters, or the smallest division can be 0.1 millimeters, or sometimes it can be 1.5 millimeters or 0 0.07 millimeters and so on. The most common, uh, the stage micrometer that we use in our laboratory is the one uh, in which the smallest division is 0.1 millimeters. So we'll be using that one. And now why are we doing all this? Try to understand one thing. You have been given a slide. Let me draw it for you. On which there is a section of the marum grass. Okay, the same section that we saw. First, what did you do? You looked at the slide and you, drew, uh, you just, uh, just right now you drew a low power plant diagram. After you're done with this, what do you do? You are going to replace the normal eyepiece lens that has been given to you with this special eyepiece lens, which, is, which has been calibrated, okay? And then with this calibrated eyepiece, you are going to uh, observe the same slide, right? After you have observed the slide with this calibrated eyepiece graticule, what are you, and then of course, when you're observing it, and since you've been given a calibrated graticule, you will be asked to take the measurement of some special feature in the particular section. For example, in this case, what you will be asked would be that by using this eyepiece graticule, you are uh, told to find out the width of the base of hair. You can see many trichomes over here, lots of trichomes over here, right? We can just pick up any trichome at random, let's say if I'm choosing this one, right? I am going to find out how wide or how many eyepiece graticule divisions wide is the base of this trichome. Once I'm done with this, I am going to remove my slide of marum grass from the stage of my microscope. You all know what the stage is. The stage is that place where we keep our slides. Once we have calculated the width of the base of one of the trichome hair, we will remove this slide. And we will replace this slide with the stage micrometer that has been provided to you, right? And this stage micrometer, the, the calibrations which are given on this stage micrometer will be superimposed with the calibrations that were, uh, you know, made by you when you were using the eyepiece graticule. This may sound very confusing to you, but you will very soon understand how we are going to go about it. Step number one, what did I do? I had kept this slide, which means the slide that has been given to you, the marum grass slide on the stage. And using the, uh, the calibrated eyepiece graticule, I found out the width of the base of one trichome hair. Step number two, I remove this slide and I replace it with this slide. Why am I doing this? Because the eyepiece graticule is only giving me the uh, you know, width of the base of the trichome hair in divisions. It's not giving me the actual size. In order for me to get an actual size, I will have to superimpose the measurements which I have done by the eyepiece graticule divisions. These are just divisions, they're not millimeters or micrometers. So I will have to superimpose whatever measurements I took in divisions, whether they were 40 divisions or 30 divisions onto a stage micrometer scale so that I can find out the actual size of the width of the base of the trichome hair. Just to give you an example, see what your question is saying. Your question is saying that figure 2.2 is the photomicrograph of part of J1. And in this, in figure 2.2, you can see a tip of a trichome and the base of the trichome. Achha. Carefully examine a similar area of J1 using the high power of your microscope. You'll do that. And then you will put a ring around the number written on the objective lens. Since the high power lens that we are using in the laboratory is the lens which is uh, giving you a magnification of 40 times. So this means that you are going to circle this lens because you're using this one, right? Identify a trichome or hair. And then your next, next task will be that you will count the number of eyepiece graticule divisions across the width of the base of the trichome. Now see, e now different students might have different uh, numbers of uh, you know measurements that they will obtain as far as the uh, base 
as far as the width of the base of the hair is concerned. For example, when I had selected uh, a trichoma at random on a high power, the measurements that I got were that the base, the width of the base of one trichome was roughly equal to four divisions on the eyepiece gratitude. This is what I found out, right? After doing this calculation, as I told you before, I'm going to remove the slide J1, which means I'm going to remove the slide of Madame Grass, which I had kept on the stage. And now I'm going to replace it with the stage micrometer scale Y, because I want this calibration to be done in a uh, like in, in some units, right? I want it in the, uh, I want the actual size of the width of the base of the hair. Since the stage micrometer, which we are using in the laboratory, this, the length of the smallest division on the stage micrometer scale is 0.1 mm. So this is what I'm going to write over here. And then using the same magnification, which magnification? The magnification of 40, Adjust the focus until you can see the eyepiece graticule on top of the stage scale. When you remove your slide J1 and when you replace it with the stage micrometer, you will see something like this. You will see that these two uh, calibrations are superimposed on each other, right? At the top, you will see the eyepiece graticule divisions and then the thick lines, thick lines that you will, you will be able to see will be the calibrations of the stage micrometer. Okay, what will we do? Let's see. Using the same magnification, adjust the focus until you, you can see the eyepiece graticule on top of the stage scale. This means we are superimposing these two uh, calibrations. Now your task is to count the number of eyepiece graticule divisions that match an exact number of this uh, stage scale divisions. So what are you going to do is that when these two uh, you know, scales have been superimposed onto each other, you will count the number of eyepiece graticule divisions exactly, which match with one stage micrometer division. So when I did this, I found out, and your measurement can be entirely different. Some of you might say, Miss, my measurement is 25. Some of you might say it's 26, 27 because of course everyone will select a different uh, you know, trichome hair at random because there are so many trichomes uh, in this cross section. So when I did this, 30 of my eyepiece graticule divisions were equal to one division on the stage. So I am now just going to do a very simple mathematical calculation. What am I going to write? I will write down, This stands for eyepiece graticule and this stands for stage micrometer. So I will say that if 30 divisions on the eyepiece graticule were equal to one division on the stage micrometer, so four divisions on the eyepiece graticule will be equal to how many divisions on the stage? Where did this four come from? Four was the width of the base of the hair in the eyepiece graticule division, but four was just a number. We just said it was four divisions long, right? So um, it, it did not have any particular unit, right? So this means that now I, I need to convert these divisions into a unit, which in this case is this particular conversion in which I said 30 divisions on the eyepiece graticule are equal to one division on the stage. So hence four divisions on the eyepiece graticule are equal to X. You will just cross multiply and you get the answer, which is eight. Now eight is also not a perfect answer because we all know that the length of the smallest division on the stage micrometer is 0.1 mm, right? Length of one smallest division on the stage micrometer is 0.1 mm. So what will I do? I will multiply with this number with 0.1 so as to get the length in millimeters. And since your answer requires you to have, you know, the, the answer is showing you that the units should be in micrometers. So you will be converting 0.8 millimeters into micrometers. Since millimeter is a bigger unit and micrometer is a smaller unit. So you're going to multiply 0.8 with thousand by thousand. And then 0.8 into thousand is going to give you an answer of 800 micrometers, right? So this is how you do a calculation. If any one of you is still confused as to how you are going to go about it, I'm attaching another video also, um, 
with this video, you can see that or else you can just call me. I'll help you out because since this is your first time. So this is how we find out the actual width of the trichome, actual width of the base of one trichome in micrometers. We have done all this hassle just to get the actual size because IP's graticule divisions were just divisions. We had to convert them into the actual size. Then you have these very simple questions. Suggest how an error in measuring the trichome could occur. So when you will do these measurements, you'll realize that yes, there is a possibility of getting a parallax error. So you should try avoiding it. Suggest the purpose of the trichomes on the leaf of the zeophyte. Yes, we all know that the basic purpose of this trichome is to trap a layer of moist air so as to reduce the diffusion gradient, which is required for the water loss to occur. Okay, now comes this part. This is a today's question is a lengthy one. Now in the space below, you are supposed to make large high power drawings of three cells from the inner layer at X and three cells from the outer layer at Y. You will look at your section once again, right? The section that you have drawn, you can go back and you know look at the slide. Now you are going to sh uh, shift your lens to high power, which is a power of 40 times. You will choose three cells from the inner layer at this place X and three cells from the outer layer at the place Y. And then you'll be making high power drawings. You all know that high power drawings um, um, they are drawings of individual cells, so you'll draw them. I haven't completed this diagram, but of course I expect you to complete it, right? You can see three cells I have drawn. I have just drawn this double line to show you that you need to complete these double lines in all these three cells, right? Most probably the cells which you can see at point X are cells from parenchyma. And then you're also supposed to select three cells from the outer layer at Y, so if, if you look at the, this place Y, you will very closely see that these are thick cells, uh, which are you know, making up the outermost layer of this section. And they uh, appear that they have taken the stain um, very well, and they are very thick walled. So hence I have drawn them in the similar manner. And they are actually nothing but epidermal cells with a lot of cuticle deposited, right? And the, the, the cells are also thick walled. If you compare it with the cells from region Region X. Let me show you cells from region X and cells from region Y. So the region X is this one, right? This is region X. And this is region Y. So if you look at, if you compare these two cells, right? These cells are not as thick walled as the cells of, uh, of uh, region Y. So this means they are more thick walled, they have more lignin deposition, uh, deposition and they have cuticle also surrounding them. So of course, the way you draw these cells will also be different. So this is how your drawing should look like. Since the question does not ask you to label, so there is no need to label. And then the last part of this question is that you have been given a photomicrograph of a transverse section of a leaf of another zerophyte. This is also a zerophyte. The name of this is Finus, but you're not supposed to identify the name. Your syllabus does not expect you to know that. You can see that um, it also has a you know a very thick cuticle. It has lots of air spaces and. The vascular bundles can be seen over here as well, but somehow this looks quite different from the section of marum grass. So what are you supposed to do that, just like every typical question which is given in the slide paper, that you will compare this photo micrograph with the slide J1 that was given to you. And as you have been given instructions before as well, that whenever you're asked to compare and contrast uh, two different sections, you will always make three columns, the first column should show you the features and the, and the other two columns, of course, will be for those particular um, sections that you're supposed to compare. So I will not go through all these answers because I want you guys to, you know, uh, think about what could be the possible differences. And in the end, we can compare our answers. I'm going to uh, stop my video right now.
i hope uh, this video was understandable and helpful for you i am attaching also another video which i had made for those students who were appearing for as exams this year uh, the november uh, 2020 attempt those who are, who did not take the predicted grade option so i had made a you know a video for them uh, explaining how to take the measurements on ips graticule and stage micrometer so you can consult that video also uh, thank you everybody allah hafiz